Good news, I freaking forgot to record the audio as I was playing the game. So, we're gonna play Endless War 5, which is amazingly American. We got an American soldier here, he's got, dropping American bombs on them. American parachutes, it's American. America was going up near British America, and not America was attacking from the north, and my mouse is not moving with what was going on in the video. I have no idea what my mouse is doing. Um, so yeah, we're going to play a game. It's, it's a shooty thingy. You shoot stuff, you kill it, it dies. It's pretty much the whole game. You're, you're a truck. Get, get to the game, me. This is the problem with frickin' post-narration. I don't know what I was doing. I was being an asset here. Loading! This game has the most patriotic loading screen ever. I dare you to find a more patriotic loading screen. So this game has the WADS control scheme here, and we've got a little tank. I seriously don't know what's up with the exaggerated mouse movements I'm doing here. Um, I'm sure they made sense at the time. Okay, so the screen kind of flips out when you move your mouse too much kind of disorienting. It's like that. <laughs> I was doing that on purpose, so... Yeah. Um... I'm laughing at myself. This is, this is um... So yeah, you go around, you shoot stuff, and the house shoots you. The frickin' house shoots you. That's how screwed up this game is. Houses shoot you. Um... So yeah, you wanna kill people. The text describing stuff, like the village house there, it's really hard to read. Yeah, you upgrade as you kill people, I guess. I wasn't sure how the experience system worked in this game, but it lets you buy upgrades as you shoot stuff. And you get you get upgrades mid, or you get uh, level ups mid level. So I'm pretty sure it's just for shooting people. Mission complete. We've been promoted to private first class. You can now access better vehicles and more upgrades. Click here to upgrade your vehicle faster past Ben. Okay. So we've got we've got an upgrade point. We're gonna up upgrades are white, you can click icons. I was kinda freaking out at the complicated looking upgrade screen, but I just used to upgrade trees being like vertical. Anyway, um I think I wanted the lung barrel here. Okay. Yeah. This is one of those guided tutorial -y thingies, so once you pick an option it just continues right along, which Kind of annoying, annoying. Um, because as you'll see in a second here, I clicked to select a vehicle and it just immediately went on. I think I'm making fun of the text here, but I forgot to read it. It's very interesting to see my mouse movements. Try to figure out what the hell I was thinking. Do I always move my mouse like that? It's like ridiculous. Um, yeah, my cat's breaking things. He was breaking things during the video too. Um, you also didn't get to hear whatever asshole firing off fireworks in the video. That was great. So, this... I really like this car. The gun in this car, more accurately. It shoots at, like, ridiculous range. It kills stuff good. And it's only got one gun. The other cars have multiple guns, and you gotta switch between them, and... I don't really know what the hell's up with that, but this gun works in, like, all situations. It's got good range, good damage. Reload's slow as hell, but it's got a big clip too. Or whatever the equivalent of a clip is in a big freaking giant car mounted gun thing. Uh, your health regenerates as you go on. So you just kinda gotta stay away from being shot to regen your health. You got one of those newfangled regeny cars. They had those in the 40s. Not so much anymore. Turns out they give you a bit of the cancer. Um, so we're shooting warehouses now. Now we're great for reloading. There's lots of waiting for reloading with this gun. But it's worth it. I tried the next two vehicles. Not so good. First vehicle, not so good. This one, pretty sweet. We're a Lance Corporal. We can now Lance people. Excellent. This thing drops supplies. I think it's just ammo. When you're low on ammo, a plane drops by and you gotta pick up your ammo. And 
that little arrow indicates the one enemy you haven't killed, or the group of enemies you haven't killed yet. So I'm gonna go back, shoot them in the face. The little score display is kind of distracting. I wish it was like at the top right or something, and you know, just more um, something like you know, first-person shooters have that little display top right, show you when you killed somebody. Something like that's more not so in your face. We're going to crossroads. We've got really exaggerated mouse movements going on here. So we're gonna go shoot some people. Again. Pretty much the whole point of this game. Shooting people. Got our very American loading screen. They're very faceless soldiers here. Oh, and a nice touch is that you can shoot down or drive over the trees. That's really neat. The graphics are pretty good. The text and the, the reticle is very blocky. It's not anti-aliased. And this should be on high graphics setting in Flash, so I think that's just the way it looks. Unless it defaults to low setting or something, because I didn't change the setting. It's always on high by default. I'm sure I was saying something witty about murdering people when I was originally doing this, I'm just out of it. Yeah. So what happens when I don't record for so long, I forget what I was doing with my settings. I, I, I had a feeling when I recorded today, there was going to be some option that was set weird in Camtasia. I didn't remember it, and I didn't check it before I recorded. And here we are, I gotta wait another 15 minutes here. Talking about myself, talking about a video game. And someday I'm gonna forget, like, I'm gonna somehow forget a post narration thing and I'm gonna have to talk about what I was talking about when I was talking about the video game. And then, at some point, we'll hit the, you know, the max layers of recursion. We're not there yet. I think this is only one of, like, one or two videos I've done post commentary on. I did one on a, a really old, it was like a Mario hack video, and I was just not happy. I was not in a happy place when I was recording it, and I recorded over it. I also might have forgotten the audio, I forget. But I remember I did not have pleasant things to say when I was initially recording that video. Um, it's probably still on my channel. My most of my old crappy Mario hack Let's Play things are still on there, buried like 500 videos ago. I don't particularly recommend them. I had, a, I had my bad mic, I didn't really know what the hell I was doing. So, I don't really like my old videos, but you gotta start somewhere. I'm sure I was talking about something much more topical when I was actually playing the game. I'm not playing the game. So, we're shooting warehouses. This was much more exciting when I was playing it. And much less giving me motion sickness because of how jerky the freaking viewport is here. It's not as bad when you're controlling the mouse because, you know, the movement makes sense. I always found that to be true of like first person shooters too, like watching somebody else do crazy fast movement. Well I never got motion sickness. Like I could that would be incredibly annoying for me considering how much I like games. But uh It never even bothered me remotely as long as me I'm controlling the view. But it's it's weirder when I'm not. Like now, even though I am controlling the view, I'm just controlling the view in the past giving myself temporal motion sickness, which is just unfortunate. It would be really funny if this didn't record right, and then I would scream. Uh, we're going to combine arms. We're going to check out upgrades here in a minute. I think I read the text, but I don't want to read it again. Something about guns. So apparently this game has a reset upgrade selection thingy button. I picked that after I clicked the wrong upgrade here in a second. 
spoiler alert. This video is pretty much just me being that guy that's already seen the episode of the show you're watching. He's like, oh, don't go in there, he's gonna get hit with a mine. He's like, oh, he did. So, I wanted something that did damage, and there's one up here that does damage, so I get it. I'm like, yay! Then I take a peek at the vehicles here. The other vehicles don't seem very good. Like, they're very complicated. See, look at all those numbers. There's lots of numbers there. And none of them are very different, except for the guns. There's like crazy difference in the guns and the other stats. I don't really care about. I consider the Greyhound. I think it. I do a test. I do quick here with a Greyhound, but it sucks really bad. Look at that. Also, I'm shooting my teammates. <laughs> I did not realize this while I was doing that. But you guys with the green names, those are your teammates, and I just burned like ten of them. This is why I'm not allowed on the base anymore. I crashed into the thing. Don't don't crash into turrets. It's not good for your health. It's also not covered by your insurance, so uh Wish I'd known that beforehand. So yeah, we're gonna go back to the M16 and we're gonna kill people, because these other things all suck. I'm thinking maybe I'll like that tank over there with the frickin' crane on it. I don't know what that's about. But I don't have it yet. I just <laughs> I totally shot some more of my buddies. I don't think I realized I was doing that yet. Anyway, reasons the videos have been sparse here. Um, mostly because my game time's been... I've been playing Mother 3, Earthbound 2, the sequel. There. I'm not aware of it. Um, great game. Um, I really like the ending. Very depressing, but uh, very good ending. Very good game all around. Um, I didn't like the final fight as much as Gigas from Earthbound, but the ending itself I'd say was better than Earthbound. Because after the Gigas fight, there's not too much to the Earthbound ending. Like, it's not that special. Um, like, I really loved Earthbound and everything. not related to this game I'm playing, but in this game I'm playing, I'm stuck in a ditch, so... Let's go back and shoot some houses. Uh, spoiler alert, since I kind of messed up this video, I no longer have a desire to play this game again, so I'm going to have to watch this over again and waste twice as much time on it. Um, so, this is probably going to be the only video of this game. Uh, it wasn't that exciting. Sorry if you wanted to see more, but if you want to see more, go and play the freaking game. You can play games too. I have it on good evidence that other people can also play video games. It's pretty rare, but it does happen. I don't know what's up with all of these people who play video games without recording them for the internet, though. That's that's just weird. It's just weird. Also weird is warehouses shooting you. That's just... I don't like warehouses that shoot me. So, I'm probably saying something about stay tuned for the next video, except that's probably not going to happen. And we didn't get upgrade points, and I don't realize this for a minute. I'm like freaking out, freaking out with my mouse here. Pointing toward the corporal sergeant there. My mouse movements look ridiculous. Really.